everyone, my name is Sherelle and welcome back to my channel, Mind, Body, Faith, where it's all about living well inside and out while remaining rooted in your faith. Today, I want to share a little bit more about my wellness journey. I shared with you all in a previous video of how I was so excited about yoga and how I was sharing it with my community and those that I went to church with and how I was told don't do it, how I stopped practicing yoga, but then how I started back practicing yoga. But along that journey, there's some little mini stories uh, that I want to share with you all today. So in addition to all those things that people were telling me, don't do it, stop doing it, you're going to go to hell, there was uh, a person that suggested Pilates. And I appreciate that. How many of you all have tried Pilates? Hmm. So it was something that I had never tried before. I had heard of Pilates and I wanted to learn more about it once it was suggested. So this video, I'm gonna share with you all five similarities and differences between yoga and Pilates. Let's go. So number one is, let's talk about where it started. Yoga is an ancient practice, a mind-body practice that started many, many years ago, more than 3,000 years ago. Whereas Pilates is more so more 19th, 20th century. It was started by Joseph Pilates in 1925. All right, let's go to number two. Talk about the equipment that you need for these two modalities. Yoga, you can do yoga anywhere, but people usually have a mat if you tend to need some assistance, you can have blocks, you can have blankets, and you can use yoga straps. When it comes to Pilates, you can exercise on the mat, which is known as mat Pilates, and there is also a machine known as the reformer. Now, the reformer is something that I'm familiar with. When I decided to give Pilates a try, I went to mat classes and I also did the reformer. The reformer machine is like a pulley system um, and so it was something that mm, I didn't like so much and Matt Pilates was mm, okay. I'll tell you more about it later on the other side. Let's go to number three. Number three. So the philosophy behind Pilates is really about the core. It is about that powerhouse. If you know anything of Pilates, you probably have heard of the hundreds. So it's about building a strong core. It's about elongating and strengthening your spine and really activating those muscles to improve your posture. On the other hand, yoga is a little different. It can do many of those same things, uh, building balance in your body, but it's more so about the mind-body connection. Yoga also uses three main components that you will see in any number of classes that you go to. The asanas, which are known as the postures. Number two, using various breathing techniques. And number three, a final relaxation or a meditated meditation component that comes along with the practice, usually towards the beginning, the end, or just at the end of practice. Number four, so let's talk a little bit about the public's perception as it relates to yoga and Pilates. Pilates is actually seen more so as a traditional exercise, although it's just started in 1925. It is something that is more traditional in nature and is commonly referred to as an exercise, whether you're doing it on the mat or whether you're using the reformer. Yoga, on the other hand, is more so viewed as a mind-body practice, invoking relaxation, helping with your ability to concentrate and focus, and it's not just solely focused on muscle engagement and the physicality of the practice. Actually, some would even call yoga a meditative movement. It is truly a mind-body connection where Pilates is more so about challenging your body to turn those muscles on and to begin to rehab the physical body. Now, with those similarities and differences in mind, I would love to know, which one do you prefer, yoga or Pilates? Or maybe you enjoy them both. I will say that after trying the Pilates reformer for a number of weeks and the Pilates mat class, that I decided that Pilates was not for me. Although you will find some of the Pilates mat movements are very similar and maybe some yoga classes. There are even classes called yoga lattes, 
where it incorporates some of the core exercises in a yoga class. I tend to want to stick more so towards the yoga because it's very helpful for me not only to gain flexibility and mobility in my muscles and my joints, but also to begin to slow down and wind down and release some of the stress from the mind and the body. And the component that I truly love about the yoga practice is the emphasis on the breath. The breath is also a component of Pilates, but it is not the central focus, where the central focus with Pilates is more so on rehabbing the physical body. The emphasis with yoga is using the asanas or the postures and the breath in a meditative way to aid in health and healing mind, body, and spirit. All right, so that is my take on my experience with yoga and Pilates. Please share your experience below in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to reach 500 by the end of this month, and I would love to hear your stories about how you tried uh, a various exercise and how it worked for you if someone suggested it. Until next time, don't forget, when life gets tough, all you have to do is breathe in and stress out. God bless.